Welcome to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. Get ready to be inspired, uplifted, and connected to the miraculous energy of unconditional love that I call Mother Mary. If you're a highly sensitive, highly creative entrepreneur or light worker, and you want to magnify your impact and your intuition, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Reverend Francis Faden, interfaith minister, intuitive coach, and author of Meditation is Friendship with God. I can't wait to share miraculous stories, books, meditations, messages, and interviews with other miraculous light workers just like you. Are you ready to magnify your miracles? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hello, my miraculous friend, and welcome to another episode of the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. This is Reverend Francis Faden, and I'm so grateful to get to spend this time with you. Before we get into today's episode, I want to let you know that it is actually an encore of episode number 58. I was thinking about what I could offer you to help you to have a miraculous new year, and I realized that I had an episode last year to help you do exactly that. It's the one question that you can ask yourself to have a truly miraculous new year. So I hope you enjoy listening to this episode again. And thank you so much. I am wishing you the happiest of New Year's, my friend. And thank you for being a listener and supporting this podcast. Happy New Year. Hello, my miraculous friend, and welcome to another episode of the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. This is Reverend Francis Faden. And I'm so grateful that we get to spend this time today talking about your New Year's goals and resolutions and intentions. But before we do that, let's do what I always love to do is just take a few deep breaths together. Let's get ourselves grounded and centered so that whatever needs to be heard today, whatever you really need to hear, there's space in your mind and in your energy that you can actually receive it. So as you're focusing on your breathing, just letting yourself get into that receptive state. And of course, always, if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road, but you can still bring your awareness to your breath. And just allowing yourself to think about what you would love in this new year. And what if you could get exactly what you would love to have or be or experience? And knowing that you're going to learn that today, let's take one more deep breath in gratitude and we can begin. All right, my friends. So this podcast is going to be coming out right before the new year. And I wanted to give you a little bit of coaching. I wanted to do what I do with my own private mentoring clients. I wanted to give you a little bit of guidance and a little bit of feedback of how you can actually have a miraculous new year. Now, one of the places that people get stuck is when I ask them, what would you love? You know, whenever I do my private mentoring sessions, whenever I start a new coaching program with one of my clients, the very first thing I will ask is, what does success look like? At the end of our time together, at the end of the six months or whatever their program is, what would you like to either have achieved, experienced, or become? What is that? And so they get to tell me, you know, what it is. And then from that point, I'll schedule the first appointment and we look to see where they are relative to where they want to be. And that's how I'm able to set up their coaching program. But for you, how can I help you? So think about it. We're going to use the same process. Where would you like to be? Or what would you like to have experienced? Or what would you like to have achieved? by this time next year, and let yourself think about it. So I'm going to let you write some things down, whatever that might be for you, and I'm assuming that you're writing them down. And I'm going to tell you where most people get stuck and how I help them get unstuck. So a lot of times people will say to me, but I don't know what I want. And that is code for, I don't believe I can have it, or I don't know how it can manifest based on my current life experience and what I know and what I can see. But remember, in a previous podcast, I said, how is not your job. Your job is what? God's job is how. So your job is to get really, really clear. So a lot of times my clients will then say to me, 
All right, Francis. But what I wrote down was um, I want to double my income, but I also want to double my time off. How's that going to happen? And I say, oh, my friend, (laughs) we need to get you out of the land of either or. You know, sometimes people will talk to me and they'll, they, they're so worried, especially women, that they're coming from their ego and they don't want to be really egoic and ego-based. But for women, it shows up a little bit differently. And what I find is that when you're in the land of either or, I can either make more money or I can have more time off, you're in the land of the ego because the land of the ego only sees that way. It doesn't see that all things are possible. When are all things are possible? All things are possible with God. So as long as you and I, highly sensitive people that we are, spiritual entrepreneurs that we are, light workers that we are, as long as we're on the spiritual path, we know that with God, all things are possible. But how do you get past the mechanism you're in your mind that's going to tell you immediately, well, how's that going to happen? I want things that seem like they're conflicting. How am I going to enjoy the foods that I love and lose weight? How am I going to have a lot of free time, but also have a a strong connection with my partner and a sense of intimacy? These things like they feel like they're opposites, right? This is the most important thing. If both things are true for you, if you really want to have more money and more time off, or you want to have more free time and also closer intimacy or whatever it might be that seem like they're opposite things, you ask yourself this question, I want you to write this down. How can I have both? How can I have both? Now, your mind is a beautiful computer. Whatever questions we ask, it's like putting questions into Google. If you put a question into Google and you say to Google, Google, how do I order shoes in my size online? How do I find vegan shoes or you know whatever it is that you want that is like not readily available, Google will go out or whatever search engine you use and it will search for the answer. Well, your mind is the same way. If you t- say to your mind, how's that going to happen? Your mind is going to come up with all the ways that it's not possible for you. But if you put into your little, your little search box in your mind, how can I have both? Or what if I could have both? Your mind starts to go bing, and it opens up and it gives space for your super conscious mind to come in and whisper to you and say, here's how you can do it. Now, you and I can't see it. We're very much programmed by our subconscious mind. We love the subconscious mind. We don't want to ever put the subconscious mind down. But we have to remember, the subconscious mind will never give you new ideas. It will only tell you about the past which is good. It tells us about the past, which is why we don't have to learn how to tie our shoes every single time because it remembers. But it also remembers the last time you tried to do something and it didn't work out the way you wanted. Or it remembers the last time your friend told you about something that she tried to do and it didn't work for her. And it's going to pull up all those times and try to talk you out of it and say, well, based on the past, this doesn't look very likely. But we don't live in the past. Every moment is a new opportunity for you. Every moment, if you want to create your future, you want to create a new year, I'm asking you to ask a new question. So there are many, many questions that I could teach you. And depending upon you and your energy, if you were working with me privately, we would go in much more in depth and find out really what it is that you would really love and what it is that's holding you back. But for right now, for the purpose of this episode, I want to give you this most important question. So as you're writing things down, notice if as you're writing them down, you have resistance come up that's, that's telling you, oh, I don't know how I can do that. I don't know how I can take a fabulous vacation on the current salary that I have. And then you ask yourself, well, how can I? How can I do both? How can I take a fabulous vacation even on the salary that I have? And it could open you up to all kinds of possibilities, things about finances that we didn't know, things about job opportunities that we didn't know. This has happened with so many of my clients, my friends, where they will ask this question and they've never given themselves permission to ask this question before. And the question is, how can I have both? And as soon as you do that, boom, your little antennae go up and the universe starts sending you synchronicities. It starts sending you signs. It starts sending you resource. 
if it's really true for you. If it's not just a passing fancy that you're like, well, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. If this is something that's true for you, you're like, you know what? I really want to double my income and I really want to have more downtime. Hold that as your goal for the new year. Hold that as your intention. I say make your New Year's resolution. If you want to do one thing, make it this question where you start asking yourself, how can I have both? How can I be satisfied with the food that I'm eating and lose weight and have a a fit and vibrant, healthy body? How can I have a lot of time for my spirituality and my creativity and have an intimate connection with my partner? How can I you know, get the practical things that I need to get done done and let myself explore my creativity. You're going to feel either or, like I can do one or I can do the other, but it's very rare that somebody says, how can I do both? How can I have both? How can I be both? Isn't that great? A lot of my clients, a big thing is that they want that stability in their lives. They want to feel that like, you know, they're okay. They know they're making a certain amount of money. They have that sense of stability, but they also want to have adventures and they feel really stuck between how am I going to have practical stability in my life and also take adventures? And I say, that's exactly the question. How can you have both? How can you have stability and adventures? How can you have both? It's going to be different for you. Your answer is going to be different than the client that I just spoke with just before I recorded this podcast, yours is going to be different. It's going to be based on you and your energy and your connection with spirit, whatever that might be. And I can't tell you what it's going to be, but I can tell you, if you put a better question in that search engine, which is your beautiful mind, you have a quantum search engine that is not limited by time, by space, or by the past. And Google can't do that. (laughs) Google can't go into the future. It can't go to a different dimension and get your answer. But Divine Mother can. We know Holy Spirit can. We know that God can. God is not limited by our beliefs, time, space, whatever it might be. The answer for whatever it is, is here now. Remember, I always say that the key to magnifying your miracles is remember your miracles already here. Well, how is it already here? Because it exists already in the quantum field. It would have to, because that's where everything comes from. Everything comes from the field of possibility. And so for you, how are you going to grab onto that field? How are you going to make your request? Well, one of the ways that you do it is you journal and you say, how can I have both? Whatever that dream is for you, whatever that intention is for you, I encourage you to write it down. Say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have you know, doubled my income and doubled my time off. And then you ask the question and you say, how can I have both? How can I have both? With the emphasis on the can, how can I have both? And you just write down all the ideas that come to you. Boom, they may not be things that you can do right away, but it'll just start to get you into the quantum field where you go, hmm, maybe it's possible. You might not act on any of these things right away, but it's gonna start to get you into the land of possibility. It's gonna raise your vibration. It's gonna make you feel happier and more hopeful. And that's when you're really going to start hearing those downloads coming to you saying, what about this? What about this? Call this person. Have you noticed that this person's doing what you'd love to do? And you'll start seeing roads opening and doors opening for you. I promise. So that's the question I want you to answer as you're getting ready to do this new year transition. If you really want to create a miraculous new year, Ask this one question and ask it throughout the year, not just at the very beginning. How can I have both? How can I have everything that I want? Because beyond the field of either or, when we're in the land of either or, it's it's one or the other. But there's a field that's beyond that. Rumi says that, that there's a field beyond this good, bad, right, and wrong, either or energy. And I'll meet you there. That's the field of all possibility. That's where Mother Mary lives. That's where your higher self lives at all times, where all things are possible. All right, my friend, I am wishing you a very, very miraculous new year and all the good things that you would love. If you want to connect with me in the new year, I'm going to put a link down below. I'd love to have a miracle meeting with you and we can meet and talk about how can you have both? What's going on with you? 
How can we help you to step into what you'd really like? And how would this type of support be helpful for you to create your miraculous new year? Because remember, the key to magnifying your miracles is to know, to really know your miracle is already here. God bless you. Thank you so much, my friends. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. I'm so grateful to be able to spend this time with you. If you want even more inspiration, feel free to visit my website, francisfaden.com or magnifyyourmiracles.com. And if you did enjoy this episode, I would really appreciate it if you left a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever it is that you connect with awesome podcasts. Remember, the key to magnifying your miracles is remembering that your miracle is already here.